Hey guys, it's Kamara. If you're new here, thanks for coming. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. Today, we're going to be talking about the very exciting topic of college. As you guys already know, I am a senior, so that means that next year I will be a freshman again, but this time at college, and I'm super excited. I decided on going to Carl University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I am very excited about attending the school, and um, my family is very excited for me, and yeah. So today I attended an event with my mom called the Make It Official day at Carlo, which basically was like a registration day slash information day. And then it had like all these other things in it that I'm going to explain to you. So let's just get right so into it. So we started the day um, with just refreshments and kind of just sitting with our parents and talking a little bit. And we were given folders. So I was given this make it official folder that says the Carlo University on it. It says transition to Carlo and information for students. And then it has my name, Kamara Bay, up top, which was a sticker, but I never put it on because I don't like putting on stickers really. But so that was in there. And then they also gave parents a separate paper, I mean a separate folder with other um, papers in it. Inside the folder is a lot of different information. There was information about the bookshop, um, about college credit information, a checklist, um, about like the technology, about mentors, um, and different things like that. There were a lot of surveys that we had to fill out and turn in also about like how the whole day went and other things like that. So on this slip of paper was my schedule. Um, the day, the whole day was from about 9 a.m. to 3.30. It was a very long and tiring day and I was so glad to be done at the end of it. Um, but so from 9 a.m. to 9.30 was check-in and refreshments. From 9.30 to 9.50 was welcome and program overview. And then after that, they separated the parents and the students. Um, so I didn't really check my mom's schedule. She had her own schedule. She was in her own lectures. And she told me it was pretty boring. So I don't know. Um, but so from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., we had an online writing test that was optional. So you could take this test to opt out of a writing class. And I didn't take it because I was like, I don't know, I just didn't wanna take it. But I know a lot of people did and only a few of them actually tested out. So I probably wouldn't have tested out, I don't know. Um, but so there was that. Then there were photo IDs and IT access. So for the IT access, um, they got a group of us, they brought us into a room, we all sat down at the computer and we all logged into all of our Carlo stuff. That's like our email, our portal, um, where we can like be able to check grades eventually, all of that stuff. We figured out the passwords and then they helped us get through it. There was one site that wasn't working for me and I told the man who was helping us and he said that like he would check it out and like maybe it hadn't, um, like my name hadn't gone through the system or something. He was like, if it had been done recently, but I filled out all my stuff and I reset my password like a couple of weeks ago. So I'm a little bit concerned about that, but hopefully that'll all get itself fixed. I don't know. And then after the IT access thing, um, that same group, we went to go get our photo ID pictures. So for this, um, we just all lined up and then we went into a room with just this lady and she was like, wait for the flash. And you just sat there, just come in, make sure you're cute, and smile. <laughs> and she takes your picture, and I like wanted to see it, but like before I like checked to see it, she was already like cropping it and like typing in my name. I was like, okay, it's it's done. I can't ask for a redo. So um, I think it turned out well, but I will never know until I get it. And then also, I think that you keep that photo all four years, which I think is kind of stupid, but whatever so you keep that photo for 
all four years. It was a super quick process and I will be getting that as soon as I um, start my orientation on August 23rd. So after the dean spoke, they separated the students by majors. I am a psych major, so I was separated with all of the psychology people. Um, an advisor came into the room and um, she spoke a little bit about like what she's gonna do and she was gonna help us set up our schedules, which I was super excited for. And um, like that's like one of the main things that I was excited for today was to just get my schedule done with so I don't have to worry about it. And now all I have to worry about is finding a roommate. So once I figured out which class I wanted, we went to the back of the room and she helped us set up our schedules. So I can actually read to you guys what my schedule is so that you can just have a taste of what it will be like. Okay, so here is my schedule. I have the drama of love and death on Thursdays, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. or 12, 15 p.m. I have new foundations of writing on Monday and Wednesdays from two o'clock to 3.15. I have personal to professional from 11 a.m. to 12.15 on Mondays and Wednesdays. I have introdu introduction to psych on Mondays and Wednesdays, 9.30 to 10.45 a.m. I have new seminar on the self from 2 to 3.15 on Thursdays. And I have connecting to Carlo on Friday from 12.30 to 1.45. Yeah, that's it. 16 credits in total. And I think that all, they told us that all freshmen have to take the connecting to Carlo and it just helps you to like adjust more and kind of, I guess, meet people. And like, there are also gonna be mentors there who are like sophomores or juniors who also are taking that class with you so they can help you um, learn more. You can ask them questions and then you can also talk to your peers. So overall, what was really fun was just like getting my ID picture and setting up my schedule. That was like the most fun that I had. The rest was kind of just like a sit back and listening kind of thing. It wasn't that fun, but this day wasn't like supposed to be fun. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like that's more for orientation. And lastly, of course, I had to visit the bookshop to get some spirit gear. So I got a total of four things just to start. Um, my mom picked out most of it, but just um, to get me started and obviously I'll get more as I go along. But first I got this cute little lanyard. It's just purple, says Carl University. So it'd be perfect for once I get my ID and I can connect my wallet to it. So super cute. This was $7. Set that right there. I got this cute little hat. I don't really wear hats that often, but my mom loves hats. So that's probably why she picked it out. And this was um, $21.98. Okay, can I just say, you guys already know we're broke, okay? We just spent $40,000 on tuition and I have to spend almost $30 for a hat. God bless my mother because <laughs> thanks mom for spending that. $14.99 for this cute, just white and purple Carlo shirt that's like wrapped up with tape so I won't unroll it. Just keep it like that until I wanna wear it. And then last I got this quarter zip hoodie, which was $54.98. Jeez. Thanks, mom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Luckily I got a full scholarship, so. She's not spending any money on education <laughs> might as well and we got a medium because i'm a small but um we got a medium because my mom was like it might shrink in the wash a little bit and then also i kind of like it being a little bit baggier so that it's more comfortable you know like I, obviously there are times when you want something that's like tight fit and cute but like i don't know i feel like i just wanted this to like be warm and be comfy on campus 
So yeah, that's it for like my little haul. That is all that I have for this week's college video. I am so excited to do more videos about college. I definitely wanna try vlogging my move-in day and vlogging orientation and all that that includes. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that I'll be able to do that. But my next video I am very excited about, um, I'll be vlogging my birthday. I'm turning 18 years old, um, so it's the big one eight. <laughs> and um, I'm just really excited. We have a lot planned and I just think that it'll make for a good vlog. So I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can for my birthday weekend. And um, yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> and I hope that you guys are too. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're going to college, what college you're going to. And if you've had something like this, like a make it official day or event that Carla had for us. I love you guys so much. Thanks.